There's a candy item here in America called the Tootsie Pop. It's a lollipop. It's round, and in the center of it is a candy core. If you bite into it, you reach the candy core. There are a variety of flavors. My favorite happens to be chocolate. There's also a legend associated with the wrapper of the Tootsie Pop. The variation that I heard when I was growing up was that if you had a Tootsie Pop wrapper with the image of the little Native American boy with a bow and arrow shooting at a star, you could take that wrapper into the store where you purchased the Tootsie Pop and receive a free Tootsie Pop. This was, of course, false. But recently, my wife and I were having a conversation about these sort of false stories that children tell one another, and this came up, which inspired me to look on Snopes about the legend. There are many variations on the legend, and all of which are false. But one of the variations on the legend was that if you send the wrapper into the Tootsie Pop company, you can receive a free Tootsie Pop, which was not the version that I heard as a child. And it was such a prevalent legend that the Tootsie Pop company even had a form letter that they sent out to people who would send in wrappers expecting a free Tootsie Pop in return. Well, this incited my curiosity. And I'm a little ashamed to admit that at this point in the story, I become a little bit disingenuous. I sent in a, my wrapper with the child with the bow and arrow into the Tootsie Pop company and said I had heard, which is true, that if I send this wrapper in, that I can redeem it for a free Tootsie Pop. And if you would like to send me one, here's my address. My favorite flavor is chocolate. And they sent me a letter which was signed by Maureen Piotrowski of Consumer Affairs, and it appears to actually be signed in ballpoint pen. She writes, Dear Paul, thank you for your interest in our Tootsie Pop wrappers. We are pleased to have an opportunity to tell the true story about the Indian on our Tootsie Pop wrappers. We have always tried to make our wrappers interesting for our customers. The pictures have changed from time to time, but the Indian has held his place for many, many years. Over 50 years ago, a rumor surfaced that said if the wrapper of a Tootsie Pop with an Indian shooting at a star was found and returned to the company, a free Tootsie Pop or any number of things would be sent to the lucky person. We truly don't know why or where this rumor started, as our records do not indicate that our company ever sponsored any type of promotion surrounding the Indian or any other picture on the wrapper. There has never been anyone who ever got free Tootsie Pops for sending in wrappers to our company. Because of the popularity of this rumor, the legend of the Indian has grown, and we would like to share this story with you. We hope that you will enjoy reading the enclosed legend and that our candies will continue to be a favorite of yours for many years to come. Sincerely, etc. I assure you that they will be a favorite of mine for years to come. And the enclosed legend is, I dare say, as good if not better than receiving a free Tootsie Pop. It is top secret, but I am going to read it to you. The Legend of the Indian Wrapper. The Indian wrapper legend has circulated for decades, from generation to generation. But once and for all, here is the meaning of the special Indian wrappers that occasionally appear on a Tootsie Pop. Long, long ago, when all lollipops were made alike, a man one day decided to make a different kind of lollipop for people. He already had a lollipop that looked different than other lollipops because they were flat, and he made his in the shape of a star but he had an idea to make his even better. He, all he had to do was figure out a way to put a chewy candy center inside his star-shaped pops. That way, his lollipops would really be different, and many more people would enjoy them. He tried everything to get a chewy candy center inside his lollipops, but he always failed. Then one night, when the man was asleep, a flash of light appeared in the center of the man's room. The man awoke to find a grand Indian chief smiling at him. The chief told the man that he would help him make a lollipop with a chewy candy center 
if the man promised the chief that he would never ever stop making them for people. The man promised. As the legend goes, the chief smiled and walked over to the window where the twinkling of a bright solitary star appeared in the sky. The chief opened the window and reached for his magical bow and arrow. He pointed the arrow directly at the star in the sky and let it fly. The man watched the chief continue to smile as he kept watching the flight of his arrow. Then suddenly there was another flash of light that came through the window which completely covered the chief. The man covered his eyes but when he quickly regained his sight, he found the Indian chief had vanished. Still stunned over his remarkable experience, the man went over to the window to close it, only to find that the star was gone. In its place shone the fullness of the round moon. The man was very confused, but he knew that all of these events had to do with the promise he and the chief had made to each other. Sensing this, the man dashed over to his lollipop shop only to find that all of the star-shaped lollipops were gone. In their place, the man found round lollipops instead. Inside the shop, he grabbed the first round lollipop he could reach and quickly bit into it. A great big smile covered his face because he could taste the chewy candy center that the chief had magically placed in it. That's when the man knew that the chief had kept his promise. Well, from that day on, the man has always had lollipops with chewy candy center. But the legend has it that once in a while, the grand chief goes to the man's shop to check and see if the man has continued to keep his promise. The Indian wrapper is supposedly a sign that the grand chief has personally checked that particular lollipop for the chewy candy center. Well... How Tootsie Pops get their chewy candy center is still a secret. Some say it's magic, but however it's done, you can be sure of one thing. The Grand Indian Chief, Shooting Star, will always make sure that the man continues to make Tootsie Roll Pops with their chewy candy centers, since we enjoy them so much. Aren't we all kind of lucky that the Chief still cares? The Legend of the Tootsie Pop Rapper